the Lord is not accountable for your actions. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Now, what come, what what um inspired me to do this lesson was a comment, a childish comment that was left by a guy who go by the name of Malak Joel, I believe. And in this comment, he said, if I control a group of puppets and they flip over a car, do those puppets get in trouble for property damage or do I? So basically, you're trying to put the most high at fault for your actions, you know? But let, let, let me tell you this, because the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said it best. Okay, who 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 are you to question the most high? Who are you to question the most high on your actions? Hmm? Who do you think you are, man? Okay? The Most High is far beyond your understanding, dude. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. Okay? These are the words of the Lord right here. The, Mo, the, Mo, the Most High, the Most High, look, he can do whatever the hell he want, man. He's the Most High. He's the sovereign of, of the universe. You're going to question the Most High because your, your, your black ass is sitting in jail? Nah, the Most High can do whatever he want, man. Isaiah 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Ooh, that's a punch right in the face. The Lord said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways. Neither are your ways my ways. Okay? My, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. Save Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Now let's go from there to the book of Romans chapter 9 Is it verse 15? If not, I'll just keep scrolling down Okay, so I'll just start at Romans chapter 9 verse 13 As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? The answer is hell no. God forbid. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of him that showeth mercy. Okay, and now let's skip down to verse 19 because this 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 is this is basically what you're doing, Malak Joel. This is basically what you're doing. Okay? Thou thou uh verse 19, Romans chapter 9 verse 19. Thou wilt say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who have resisted it, <laughs> who have resisted his will? That's basically what you're saying. You know, I, well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, if, if I threw a, a, a rock at somebody's window, uh, who's at fault? The most high or me? No, you're at fault. <laughs> okay? You're at fault. Okay? And so what if the Lord made you do it? The Lord made, made you do it to teach you a lesson. Because there's a punishment for everything. Okay? There's a punishment... You know that there's punishments for, for 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 the things you say. There's punishments for the things you do. 
And ultimately, instead of complaining while being punished, how about learning? Learning from your punishment, you know? There's a reason why your parents, there's a reason why your parents would, would whoop your ass when you was a child. To teach you a lesson, to correct you. Okay? Why, why are we in captivity today? Because we, we, we've departed from the ways of our maker and decided to do our own thing. But the Lord made us do it to teach us a lesson. Okay? Everything Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does is expedient. Okay? We're not just catching hell for no reason. The Lord is doing it to purify us. So how dare you question the Most High? Okay? The Most High could do whatever the hell he want to do. Okay? Hey, hey man. You, you better stop while you're ahead, man. The, the, hey, the Most High will send somebody to bitch smack you. Man, for real, like verse twenty. Nay, nay, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Yeah. Okay, that that's that's that those those are Paul's words right there. Okay? That's a direct question to you. Who are who art thou that replies against God? against the, the God, the almighty sovereign ruler of the Holy Scriptures? Who are you to question the Most High? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against God, against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Shall the thing formed say to him that, that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Okay? You might, you might be a fat so. You might weigh a, a, a half a ton. You eat snacks all the time. The Lord made the Lord made you like that. You can be the most ugly ass. You can be the most ugliest uh, ass dude on the planet. Well, the Lord made you like that. Okay. Okay. You can be you can be one 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 of the most handsome people on the planet. The Lord did made you like that. Okay. You 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 know you over here asking these 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 childish stupid questions. How about keeping your mouth shut and actually learning? Okay? You you talking about you 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 you've known you've known about the truth for five years. So let me get this straight. You've known about the truth for five years, but you don't know why the Lord created uh, 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 evil. You don't know why the Lord created evil, but you obviously you haven't known about the truth, okay? Because if you known about the truth, you would know why the Lord created evil. There's a okay. Do not the Lord deal with balance? That's Proverbs eleven verse one. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. And then in your comment earlier, you were talking about uh, uh, how water and fire are neutral. They're they're neither good or bad. What are you talking about? Did not the Lord use water to flood everybody on the planet during the time of Noah? Uh, except Noah, his sons, his wife, and, and, and his sons' wives? The Lord <laughs> the Lord used water for bad. Water water could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Fire could be a good thing. You know, it, it gives you warmth in the wintertime. But you can also use it to kill somebody. So what are you talking about? The Lord created a balance to everything, man. Okay, yeah, we're catching the hell. But the Lord is doing it to teach us a lesson. Because he cared about us. Anyways, with that I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.